Hey, hey everybody. Hello again. It's a uh, Monday and I thought I would start doing my video series that I mentioned the other week during my latest naked interview just because it's how I am, a bit random. But I wanted to start it off. So I've had a lot of requests with people asking for a little bit more context, a little bit more content around each of the different health types. So over six different videos, I'm going to share with you different aspects of each health type that I've come to find to be true, to be interesting, to be entertaining. And I hope through sharing it, it's going to bring about a little more understanding, a little more conversation, and enable you guys to maybe resonate with one of them and see for yourself. Um, the depth and the clarity and the cool conversations that come around with this. So who you forgot you are and your genius and your hidden genius. Um, so first off, we're going to start off with Crusaders. Now, Crusaders are the health type that actually resonate with the horse. So if you can imagine a horse with the blinkers on and it's got one mission, it's one mission is to get around that track as fast as it possibly can and get to the target. So when you're looking at our Crusaders in, say, the workplace, in the workplace, our crusader health type is usually the person who is, hello Belinda, is, um, they're normally the person that's kind of sitting there, they've got a job to be done, they are on target, on point, they don't really want to be interrupted or, um, uh, they don't need, uh, pointless, what they see, chit chat. The general chit chat as being pointless. For them, they're here to do a job. They want to get it done. The less distractions, the better. Because for them, they're actually chasing the dopamine hit. So for them, it's really important to succeed. And anyone who knows a crusader who, um, if you are in this world, and you understand uh, a crusader who's not on a mission, they're a little bit lost. Um, to be frank, to be brutal, because I am. Crusaders are the ones that will often be the people that will end up with a substance abuse. Because they're really out to try and receive that dopamine hit. And if their life has no meaning and hasn't got enough passion drive if they haven't got a goal like hurrah we're chasing the point then they're going to chase that substance to give them the dopamine hit if that makes sense so when it comes to the workplace, we are best to let our crusaders do the do. They are very analytical. They are very uh, factual. They are very to the point. They are very much the kind of health type that is um, methodical. It is logical. Uh, they may seem, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. They may seem a little uh, emotionless because they just want to get to the end result. All the emotion and all the things around that don't really matter to them because to them it's kind of hit and miss. It's a little bit... Uh, unnecessary to factor in emotional uh, perspectives. Hey Dee, hey guys. So when you're looking at crusaders in the workplace, they're the ones that are just on target, on point. They're great at project management. They're the ones that do all the graphs. They love the graphs. They love to see that it's all tracking. They're the ones that like to see, there's a lot of PTs that are actually crusaders because they like to be able to analyze the data. Okay, not my forte, but they like to see the data. They like to see that what they're doing is effective. They like to understand that where they're at is on is 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 uh, on purpose. Then we come into relationships. Now, a lot of people get into relationships with crusaders because they they state what they want. There's no, uh, they're very strong. They're very structured generally. They kind of know what they're chasing. They know what they're looking for. Um, they are a lot of fun when they're not busy working. And a lot of uh, our other health types that sort of are a bit more emotional, a lot of our other health types will turn to our crusaders because they just like the structure. They like their um, self-confirming energy, if that makes sense. And so our crusaders are the ones that quite often um, get into relationships because they want a partner who's a bit more caring, a bit more nurturing, a bit more loving. Hey Donna. And quite often what it can mean is that in a relationship, uh, the other partner may find their beautiful crusader to not be as emotionally connected with them as, as they would intend it to be. And this can quite often be resolved um, and solved. By turning to your crusader partner and going, I know you're busy. I know you're trying to get from point A to point B. I understand that. Could we please schedule some time in so that we can have some time together? Hi, Robert. Hi, hi Bruce. You know, having a crusader partner is really important about scheduling. They love scheduling. They don't like you. They will not be impressed if you end up late to an appointment or late to a date. They do like to be on time. Um, they really enjoy people's company, but they like to make sure they've had their targets and tasks completed first before they try and endeavor into the pleasures. So a, a crusader will be very capable of having a happy uh, social life 
when they are hitting when they are succeeding in their business when they are succeeding with their mission that's the most important focal point for them so they are not vain they are not heartless they are not selfish they are just on purpose makes sense so love our crusaders they still love to be loved they still love emotion and, and and nurturing energy they just don't generally facilitate a huge amount of that they seek to the rest of us for that same goes with fun for them they will be the funnest coolest cats you've ever seen they love having a good laugh but quite often you know you go to a party and it's all rowdy quite often our crusader health types they kind of like to be sitting together a, a fun time would be a bunch of crusaders sitting together with their laptops or working together on a project i know that sounds weird to some of us but they know that they're getting uh they know that they're feeling like they're they're on a mission they're, they're interacting while they're getting the task done so our crusaders are the kind of people that can be very interactive very 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 much as long as they're getting things done so if you find that you have a crusader friend of yours who maybe they resonate with some of this but they don't have a purpose or maybe they're not on or out crusading maybe they're trying to be very very social maybe they're searching for a social side of themselves they probably just haven't found a big enough passion a big enough hobby a big enough why a big enough drive in life and it's really good to support those beautiful crusader people that we have in our life because they really need that assistance to remind them that they are capable of being extraordinary leaders extraordinary visionaries um this is their mission this is their goal i hope you guys are enjoying this then we move into the movie character. So a crusader movie character, I believe, would be someone like Superman, Clark Kent. You know, he's like the businessman, very factual, very smart, very well-spoken, very on time, um, you know, has the big shoulders. They can be capable of having a beautiful masculine body, but far too often they don't have great calf muscles. And for many of the pictures I remember of Superman, maybe not the most recent ones, but some of your old cartoon characters, he had very slender um, calf muscles. That's because they just they don't have the genes for the calves. I'm sorry. So our Crusader health type would definitely be Superman, I feel. Um, in school, our Crusaders were the ones that probably... Uh, thank you, Donna. Crusaders would be the health type that would be um, generally sitting closer to the front of the te to the teacher because they want to hear, they want to understand, they want it to make sense. They're not going to waste their time and interact in the school class when it's wasting their time being there. Many of them may have had other side projects. Maybe they were the captain of the sports team. They are totally ca capable of being great leaders. They will be a part of a big community when they are understanding that it's of benefit to them. If there's no benefit to what they're doing, they are not going to do it. So if there's a class that they don't believe is beneficial, they're probably not going to be paying attention. But if it's in a class that they actually feel passionate and drawn to, they will be absolutely focused and they will be un annoyingly capable of understanding it. <laughs> they will be the one that just gets it super easy. Um, and they're very analytical. They love like seeing how things are put together, why it works that way, what it's for, what it's used for, like all that stuff. A lot of them are captains at schools. Um, then we come into money stories. Okay, so Crusaders don't necessarily, some of them have money stories, but Crusaders often are good at managing their money because they're analytical, remember? They may be a little bit stingy. They won't invest unless they see it being a grand um, a grand advantage to them. They will generally not invest unless they know it's going to be a huge like win-win both ways for them. Um, not saying they're selfish, but they are smart. They are the ones that are the smart investors. They are the ones that will be a little bit true in where they just throw money at. They generally won't spend money on pointless things because that's a waste of time, a waste of money, a waste of effort. They will quite often be the ones that will go out and research their products and their things before they purchase anything. So we love our crusaders because they're really smart. And for someone like me, they remind me to be a little bit more um, dubious with what I'm doing. Then we come into food. Crusaders are the health type that can eat five or so meals per day, but they're the ones that need to have it really well cooked. Really well cooked. 
Um, don't eat raw salads Ugh. because their brain is their most capable organ. So the longer they spend being able to facilitate that amazing powerhouse they have and the less time they're stuck in a stomach, the better off they're going to be. If they're experiencing things like uh, flatulence and bloating and things like that, they're probably uh, a little stressed. They need a little bit of calm in their life, maybe a bit of meditation. But convincing a, dip, uh, a crusader that sitting there meditating is going to be a bit of an ordeal because to them they may think that that's a waste of time. But we have to remind our crusaders that sometimes you need to step back, recharge and charge ahead. Um, so lots of small meals and well cooked. And these guys are allowed to have more carbohydrates than the rest of us because they've got such a brain that just feeding the brain needs carbohydrates. So all these people that are there doing keto and doing raw vegan and things like that, you're killing your brain because your brain actually needs, the Crusaders, need that fuel, that simple fuel to fuel their brain. Then we come into language. So you can look at most of the different health types and some of them will be feel and felt, some will be do and some will be think. Our Crusaders are definitely the language of think. What do you think about that? How do you think we can do this? What do you think will be the fastest way to get this done? How do you think we could make this relationship better? How do you think we can make the project more effective? Okay, so I hope that's giving you guys a little bit of an understanding that Crusaders are our ones that are just on, on a mission. Oh, and here's one last one for food. A Crusader's ultimate snack or meal would actually be a pizza. I know, I hate them too. No, I'm just kidding. We love you guys. But our Crusaders are the ones that actually can have pizza. It's actually a good carbohydrate protein mixture. So if you want to know more about this, I am facilitating a six-week program at the moment that is mind-blowing and understanding exactly what you are and how you show up and how you best facilitate your amazing self and so much more. Throughout the program, I hope you guys understand I know the people get, that come into the program, we get to understand each of the different health types and the people around them. So throughout this video series that I'm doing for free, I'm going to do one each day explaining each of the different health types. Today was Crusader. I'm hoping you will understand a little bit more of yourself. Maybe you'll resonate with one of these and want to understand a little bit more about yourself. Understand the specifics of yourself. And maybe you know someone who's like this and you're like, oh, that's so my auntie, blah, blah. Well, I hope it helps. It's all about creating the understanding, creating the conversations and the language and the discussions that we get to have and taking away object, uh, obligation, taking away expectations and understanding that workforces, families, relationships, all of these dynamics are crucial to understanding your limits, your genius, your flow and who you truly are. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Stay tuned. There's going to be five more. We're going to break down... Um, diplomats we're going to break down guardians connectors activators and sensors so there's six in total stay tuned it's going to be delicious